Okay, so in this poem we're told, at what displacement of a simple harmonic oscillator is the energy half kinetic and half potential? B, what fraction of the total energy of a simple harmonic oscillator is kinetic and what fraction potential when the displacement is one third the amplitude? So we have two parts here. Uh, let's just go ahead and start with the first part. So for the first part, we're essentially gonna be solving for this X value here, right? They say what displacement, so what they're talking about is the X, right? The X always represents uh, how long or how far the spring is displaced from its original spot, right? Is the energy half kinetic and half potential? So what we're basically gonna be doing is finding, so you need to know two formulas. One formula is for the total energy, right? Stored within the spring is one half Ka squared, where A is the amplitude of our, right, of our simple harmonic oscill like the oscillation, right? So that's the amplitude. Uh, and then this is the formula for the potential energy, one half kx squared. So basically, uh, basically the way we're gonna do it is by setting them equal. So one half kx squared is equal to, and then we're gonna say one half, one half ka squared. So let me explain how this works. So we're trying to find when it's half uh, potential and half kinetic. Well, we know it's, u plus k equals e, okay? Where e is the total energy, and then u and k are the elastic potential energy and the kinetic energy. So if we can figure out when half of it is potential, then that's the point at which half is potential and half kinetic, right? Because they're the only two things that actually make it up. So all we're doing is setting this value for the potential and seeing when it's equal to half of the total energy, and that's gonna give us the x value at which we want this to occur. So hopefully that makes sense. So we have one half kx squared equals one over four times ka squared. Obviously we have k on both sides, so we can ignore that. Uh, and then we have one half x squared equals one over four a squared. Uh, we can multiply both sides by two to get rid of this. On this side, you'll get x squared equals one half a squared. And then obviously we want x by itself since it represents the displacement. You would just square root both sides. So you have the square root of one half a squared. The better way to write this would just be a over the square root of two. Right, since this is gonna cancel when we square it and then you still have the half on the bottom that needs to be square rooted. So uh, the displacement at which uh, half the energy is kinetic and half is potential is a divided by the square root of two. So this would be your answer to A. Uh, and yeah, so let's go ahead uh, and move on to B now. So for B, they're telling us what fraction of the total energy of a simple harmonic oscillator is kinetic and what fraction is uh, potential when the displacement is one third, uh, the amplitude. So X is our displacement and we're seeing when it's one third the amplitude, right? So A divided by three. And so the way this is gonna work is if we can find what fraction is potential energy over the total energy, right? You can call this ET. Uh, if we can figure out what that fraction is when X is equal to this value, then we know what fraction is potential. And then obviously the other, the remaining of it would be uh, kinetic. So all we gotta do is really just plug in the formulas here. So the formula for elastic potential is one half KX squared uh, and then one half KA squared for the total. So we have one half, or the first thing you should notice is these will cancel, so we can get rid of those. Uh, and then we have a over three squared divided by a squared. Right, so hopefully you see that. Uh, if we wanna rewrite this, uh, we could rewrite it as a squared over nine divided by a squared. Right, all I did was m multiply these out, right, expand this this way. Uh, and then you can just rewrite this as a squared divided by nine times, and then you just copy dot flip. So a squared times one over a squared, this is equal to one over nine. So you know the potential energy at this point is one ninth the total energy, right? Because there's one for every nine of the total. So one ninth is the fraction for the potential. So the fraction of the potential Right, we'll just write u equals one over nine. Uh, and then obviously uh, it would just be one minus one over nine for the kinetic. So eight over nine is your kinetic. So 
at this point in time, most of the energy is going to be kinetic, right? So uh, since it's eight, makes up eight ninths, well, this only makes up one ninth when x is one third the amplitude. So one over nine for uh, potential, and then the kinetic is eight over nine at this point in time, right? When it's one third the amplitude. Uh, but yeah, so these are going to go ahead and be your answers for B. 1 over 9 and 8 over 9. Uh, that's the fraction. And then this was your answer to A. Just a quick summary of what we did. Uh, I knew that if I could find when the potential energy is 1 half the uh, total energy for A, right, then I would be able to solve for the displacement X at which they're both half, right? When, when it's half kinetic, half potential, then it's just a matter of solving. And then for B, we just found the ratio of potential to total. And then with that, I could actually solve Right, I could actually solve uh, for how much there is kinetic. So, uh, yeah, so these are going to be your answers, and uh, hopefully, you found this video useful.